Welcome to Jet Throws Garage. Hey, I hope y'all are having a great week. Um, it's been a pretty decent week here. We're, we're getting a little rain. We've gotten a little rain over the past few weeks. Uh, a lot of rain, but it makes the corn grow. And, uh, you know, good things come from corn, right? Uh, or bad things. I, I don't know. I guess it's a matter of opinion. Hey, before I get into this, y'all want to, this is uh, some pliers organization options I'm, I'm going to show you here. But before I get into that, I, I need you to go back and I'm going to give you a link for a video right up here. I think it's like here somewhere. Anyway, but I'll put it down in the uh, description as well. Uh, I need y'all to go check that out. And when you check that out, um, do what it says so you can be entered in uh, for a giveaway of some tools and uh, y'all want to see them? Let's wait till the end of the video and I'll show them to you, okay? Okay, without further ado, let's come on up here and look at these different options for uh, pliers and, you know, all that stuff. Storage, organization, I don't know. Come on. So the first thing we're going to talk on talk on is homemade. Um, look, it's expensive. Period. To 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 be a mechanic or to you know own tools. The tools themselves aren't cheap. And then you talk about going and buying stuff to organize them. I mean, sure we could lay them all flat in the toolbox. Okay but that takes up a lot of room right let me move you down so you can see what i just did there you go takes up a lot of room if you've got the height for your drawers you can stand them straight up and they take up less room and we all know this doesn't work very well okay so you make something to store them in well this right here is just a pair of it's just a little bit of wire okay and stick them in there like that now this is thicker than probably what i'd want and i probably want to make the the hoops a little smaller i'm going to show you how i did it but you can choose other things to do it with um but this is a fairly simple deal you can use coat hanger you could use copper wire you want it to be stiff enough though that it doesn't uh uh move with you too much you know move move back and forth and come out of shape this is fairly springy and it'll stay there unless i really pull on it um it's a pretty thick gauge wire i think this is six maybe eight gauge it's out of uh some six two or six three i used to run my shop wire with um before i show you how to make this which is pretty simple i'm going to show you this this is from an old refrigerator. I've also made them from old dish strainers. Um, main thing, they just need to be made out of metal. Um, this was a wire rack and a refrigerator. Um, but like I said, I've made them out of dish strainers. This could have been a dish strainer, I don't know. But bottom line, I cut it up and I put it in a vise and I bent them. It was pretty simple. Here's, here's another one with stuff in it. Um, you can get them for all kind of different prices at thrift stores or what have you, especially the dish strainers. So, y'all want to see how to make this? I've got a short video or another video on it, but I'm going to include it in this one as well. So let's go on over here to the vise and I'll show you how to do it. Y'all see my, y'all might be seeing my shorts and my flippity flops. Um, Listen, this is pretty easy, um, and it's really according to what you got. I'm going to take a pair of vice grips, and I'm going to clamp one end, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it in there nice and straight, okay? And all we're going to do is wrap it. Look, I probably didn't need to show this to y'all. Chances are y'all are like, why is he going to show us that? It's, it's stupid, simple, and it is. It is. It's very simple. Now, you would... 
want a piece of wire longer than this. And believe me, this, unless you've got a lot of it scrap laying around, this is not <laughs> going to be your preferred because this is, this is expensive. And even as scrap, it's probably, what, $2 a pound? But there you have it. So space to store one, two, three, four, five pliers. And that's off of a, about a two foot piece. Um, look, this isn't gonna make a very, very good one. But this is more like what will be easy to come by. This is uh, 10 gay, no, probably 12 or 14 um, gauge copper wire. And it's very easy. But the thing is, I'm, I'm trying to get it super tight. But see, I didn't have to hold on to this one with the vice grips. But anyway, like I said, easy, 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 easy. Let me show you one that I made. A, I've actually made this one in the video that I used to show how to make it earlier on. And I'll link that video down below. Do 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 Gonna go invade my son's toolbox. There you go. That's the one I made, and he's using it, and he he seems to like it, and it stays put for the most part. Um, yeah. So there we have two homemade versions. Uh, could you think of more? Yeah, there, there's probably others. My imagination is you could you could build them out of wood and make them look like this or wh what have you. There's there's all kind of things you could. Uh, hell, I, I got another. Let me show you this. This is a purchased one, but you can see I just hung them here on this uh, tool hanger set. But you could do things like like that, or you could, you know, you can make them with little uh, steel loops or what have you. You've also got these right here. Let me move junk out of the way. You got that right there. You could take and throw you one in there, and that's for these. They're fairly simple. That is a a six piece. It's supposed to be for screwdrivers, but you could throw your pliers in there. Okay, next up, we're going to talk about this one. We've already talked about it a little with the Snap-on set. This one come from Snap-on, but I'm 99, I'm just going to say 99% sure it's made by Ernst. And I just give away one of these on the channel uh, for my Sunday Night Live Sunday. And it was like 17 bucks, I think, after taxes, something like that. Wasn't super expensive, and it holds, what, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holds ten. It's not too bad. Uh, yes, it could get expensive. Uh, I have a lot of pliers, and that can get expensive, but it's another option. It's nice. It, it sits in there real well, and, yeah, holds them up, keeps everything organized. It doesn't move around in your toolbox. I think that rubber here on the bottom helps keep it planted. I don't know. Plus, it helps the uh, pliers and everything stay in it. Kind of like the little notches, how they are. Um, the pliers seem to fit better. Uh, some, some of them fit better like this but some of them fit better with the handles in there and that little notch. So like these, they fit better like that. Okay, so that's another option. Let me move this and this. And even this, y'all like all these vice grips. I collect uh, American made DeWitt, Nebraska vice grips. This is just some of them. Let 
Then we got this one from Snap-on. It's pretty nice. Uh, it, it holds just as well as that does. It's just more, uh, more thingies, you know. I think it's 20 here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Okay, there's 18 here. This was like 50 bucks. I done a video on this as well. This was like 50 bucks. So, you know, you would probably come out cheaper to buy three of these and you would hold more tools. It would be just a little more expensive than this, but it hold more tools. But this is just different. It's a different type and it might work better for you it might not i don't know um the thing about this one i think it fits perfectly in the drawer a certain way uh, this is 21 inches so it might fit a drawer perfectly going in sideways instead of long ways <laughs> but there you have that now let me show you my toolbox widget stuff that's what a drawer looks like while you're moving stuff around to try to do a video <laughs> and all that back there is toolbox widget. So, but I'm gonna show you it better up here. Here you go, here's toolbox widget. Now there's other modular uh, storage deals out there. This is just one, uh, one style and it's from toolbox widget. You can see these are smaller than these. So these are for handles that are thicker and then thinner handles. Um, it's completely modular. Um, these have magnets on the bottom that hold them in in your box and Let's see They go together so you can use one you can use ten you can use twenty you can use a hundred It's just according to what you want to buy um, Toolbox likes there put the orange here so you can see quick whether a tool is missing and then They go in there like that. Well, let's say you got to put them in there with the handles. Well, that's what the thicker opening is for. But, you know, put them in there like that. So, it is what it is. Uh, tools and tool storage is something. And there's others out there. But when I get through with this video, I'll or somewhere in here as we're closing, I'll... I'll show you some pictures of, you know, my big drawer organized with a couple of these options. Um, I might be getting rid of some of my more homemade stuff, but I, I still use them for other things as well. Let me back y'all up. Okay, I was just going to make a video of this, but this is the final outcome. Everything that's laying down just won't stand up. Okay, Ooh, look at that. that. Get out of there. You're not on camera. Um, yeah, this is the outcome. There's like 80 sets of pliers, some type of pliers, scissors, cutter, or something in there. But uh, this, is, this is what it looks like somewhat organized. Uh, yeah, I might need a taller drawer or, or, Hear me out, another toolbox. <laughs> no, I don't need another toolbox. <laughs> uh, so, in the world of tools and tool organization, you have a ton, a ton of options. Now, why? Why do I want to organize my tools? Well, I think one of the big reasons, I think there's two big reasons. But one of the big reasons is to save money. Now, James, how do I save money by spending money? Well, if your stuff is nice and organized and neat and takes up less room, that's key, less room, then chances are you can get by with whatever size toolbox you have for a little longer. Maybe you can't, maybe your drawers aren't high enough, high enough to stand them up straight. And I've got stuff that is, is too tall, I gotta lay it down. Um, second way, you're saving money or you're able to make more money 
is because once your tools are organized, you can find them faster. And you may be saving 10 seconds. You may save a minute or two. Uh, the fact that they're organized uh, makes stuff easier to find usually because you put them in certain order. And that gives me, go, takes me to a third part of saving money. And that is, uh, well, when you see an empty spot where you know it's organized, you know you're missing something. So if you're putting your stuff up on a regular basis and you see that you're missing a tool after you've done a job, you're going to go look for that tool. Now, you might not be saving time at that point because, well, I've spent, I've wasted so much time looking for tools, it's ridiculous and it's right in front of my face. But I digress. It's, it's, it saves you from buying that tool over again. And if it's something like, uh, you know, a $40, $50 pair of pliers, it's a big deal. And tools make you money. And they cost you money. So, making money, right? Being organized. Um, other than that, I think there's more reasons. I had them in my head, but um, I don't know. I, I lost them. But anyway... Uh, that's pretty much it. Check it out. I'll have some links to some of the stuff in the descriptions, and I'm going to be looking at other options. I'm going to buy them up, see if it works, and then, you know, let you know, hey, this stunk or this was a good product. Right now, all the, every single one of these products does well, okay? Uh, I'm going to try to find some that doesn't. And so I could tell you about them, and hopefully you won't buy them. I don't want you to waste your money buying junk. Okay, with that being said, let's get on to the giveaway I was telling you about. That whole video that I pointed to, click the link, and I said it's in the description. Well, here's what you can win. So first of all, I'm going to draw for three different sets of prizes. The first, Tecton, Wrench, Screwdriver tool organizers, modular tool organizers. Second uh, part of this prize. It's a Duratec uh, bit ratchet set. Pretty pretty nice little bit ratchet set. And oh, but this was standard, wasn't it? Yep, standard sockets. That's that's not normal in the, that world. A Tecton, a Tecton. Uh, micro driver or what do you call these things i don't know they're little bit sets okay you know for like your computer work your fine work watch stuff like that um nice little kit kit i think this has uh, been closed out i don't know that you can even buy this you may be able to buy it but they're, they're not making it anymore um the socket adapter set from Big Red, um, you got your swivel on the bottom, and it's a dual, so you can push it on to lock it in place. And you put, can put a wrench on here, a 10, a 14, or a 19 millimeter hex. You can use it as a, a you can use a ratcheting wrench, or you can use, you know, whatever. This is not new. I just got it back in the package. None of this is new. Okay, you're getting previously loved tools. Uh, you're going to get this Duratec four-piece uh, plier set. Is that what we, we've been talking about, pliers organizer? I guess this would be another pliers organizer, right? <laughs> uh, the pouches. I love pouches for going. And last but not least is a retrieval magnet, you know, and that's all for first place, okay? I might pick you out of order. I might pick third place first. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. We'll figure that out come Sunday. Oh, by the way, Sunday is when I'm going to choose it. Um, next, second prize is a pair of... Icon pliers, eight inch. A pair of channel lock pliers, six inch. 
and a retrieval magnet. And third place is a pair of Tecton pliers and a retrieval magnet. Um, look, it's pretty decent. And you got, the, you know, if you enter, you've got three chances to win, I guess. I don't know what your odds are. It's according to how many people enter. Um, you can only win one prize. I know I didn't tell that in the main video, but you know, you can only win one prize. I'm gonna pull your name. If I choose your name, I'm gonna throw it to the side, choose another. So odds get better as, you know, whatever. So anyway, is that it? Is that all I wanna say? I guess so. Y'all take care. Have a great day. Um, make sure to tune in on Sundays at 7.30 Eastern Time. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, where we have a live talk show. And we talk about different things. And uh, yeah, we ran prizes. I give away one tool every single Sunday. Except for one here recently. I was tired coming back from a motorcycle trip. But y'all take care. Thank y'all for watching. Please click that like. Share this video with as many people as you can. And uh, tell me how I'm doing down below. Or tell me if you like some of this stuff. Give me more ideas. Hey, there might be something here I'm missing that I really need to know about. Um, yeah, y'all take care of each other. And have a blessed day and a week.